Hey everyone, it's LaDawn. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on really quickly to show you guys the takedown uh, process for doing a new hairstyle actually to my channel. I haven't really seen it anywhere else. Um, I was trying to kind of make up different things to do to my natural hair because I'm kind of getting bored with doing uh, braid outs and twist outs and wash and goes. So I just wanted to try um, something unique and different and see how it came out. Now, um, this is a flat twist and coil out. Now, I've done coil outs, and of course, I've done flat twist outs before, so I decided to combine them. And um, I didn't make this particular video into a tutorial, so I didn't film myself doing this, because you guys have seen me do flat twists a lot on the channel, and you have seen me do uh, coils on the channel as well. So, I will place a link to those videos either around here somewhere or in the uh, information box below so that you can refer to those if you're not familiar with the technique. Um, but essentially all I did was I created seven sections throughout my head and I did the flat twist and then once I finished flat twisting all of the hair into the twist I continued to two strand twist down for about an inch and then I created the coil and of course coils all you do is wrap the hair around your finger and it will create a coil on the ends so I did that to each and every section here to prepare my hair to be flat twisted and coiled I uh, separated of course into seven sections and I spritzed the hair I actually saturated it with water and uh, aloe vera juice sorry about that <laughs> once I did that I used a white tooth comb and just made sure that I got all of the tangles out and I used Camille Rose Almond Jai Twist Butter on each section before beginning to flat twist and coil. And that's it. I didn't use anything for hold. Um, I just used the one product. All right, so. Normally I would not use a butter on my hair, but I was really curious to see how my hair would respond to the weather. We have high dews here, so there's lots of moisture in the air, and when there's lots of moisture in the air, of course that means that your hair is more likely to puff up and you lose definition. So generally I would use one of my um, Harder Hold gels on styles when the dews are this high. However, I wanted to see um, what would happen if I used uh, aloe vera juice, of course, to lay the cuticle, the hair um, cuticles down, and then follow that up with a butter-based product um, to further kind of seal the cuticle. I wanted to see if, you know, how that would work in high dew situations on fine hair. You know, would it be enough to seal my hair and keep as much moisture out as possible, or, you know, would it not hold up well at all? So. Um, after I take this down and kind of wear it out today, I will provide a follow-up video just to let you know um, how my hair held up in these high dew weathers using that product combination. Okay, so to take these down, I'm just going to use a bit of my oil, put it on my fingertips, not a whole lot because you know, fine hair issues, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and take these down. Um, I put these in early this morning. So my hair is mostly dry. I think it's a little bit damp still, but it is mostly dry. As you can see, the texture is really nice.
mess around with this a little bit more probably, but this is the result. Um, I like this. Now, one of the things I realized when doing, doing this style is just um, as is the case when you do coil outs, you um, have to continue to separate the sections. So normally when you do, or when I do um, flat twist outs, I find that I don't have to really do a lot of separating. It's more just about fluffing and positioning the hair um, the way I want to style it. But with the um, flat twist into a coil, I find that you do have to do a lot more of that separating, even though, you know, the hair uh, by nature of the flat twist out creates separate sections, you still have to go in and separate those particular sections to get the fullness you want. Might not be the case if you have thick hair, but it's certainly the case <laughs> with fine hair. Um, otherwise, as you saw initially, it was kind of, you know, flat and um, it was very difficult to get fullness by just lifting the roots. But once I went in and I separated more and more and more, I got fuller and fuller and fuller. And this is the style I decided to go with. I may even put like a little flower on the side. It's like super hot here today. So, so yeah, these are the results. I hope you guys like the video. Um, if there is a style you'd like to see me try, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what it is and I would love to give it a try in the future. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.